Hello all, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about Azure Container Instances. So as you can see in this image, we are building the Docker image in local machines. Then we are pushing the Docker image in the Azure Container registries. And in Azure Container Instance, basically we are pulling the Docker image from the Azure Container registries. So we can run the container or application as a container in the Azure container instances. So before going to Azure uh, container instances, first we will understand the concept of containers. So containers are executable unit of software in which application code is packed along with its libraries and dependencies. So basically it can run any platform it could be a desktop servers cloud anywhere we can run uh, our applications because we have already packed all the dependencies libraries which required to run the applications so another definition we have a standard package of software known as containers so basically we are grouping all the dependencies libraries codes in a single package and we are pushing that package in the acr and in the Azure container instance, basically we are pulling the particular package or which we call it image. So we can run our applications. So if you can see here, this is infrastructure. It means it could be a, any VM server, anything. And from here we have a host operating systems. So to run any container, we need an engine. So we, we need a Docker engine. So we have installed a Docker engine on this particular server or host operating systems and here we are deploying multiple containers so app a b c d e f these are the containers so this is something similar to a virtual machines so let's uh, understand the difference between virtual machines and containers so if you can see in this particular diagram what's the difference basically we have here we have infra infrastructure which is similar then we have a here host operating systems it could be a windows servers windows 10 and then we have a docker engine and here basically we are directly running our applications so this is in the container part so basically whatever the resources like cpu ram whatever we have on this particular infrastructure these containers are going to utilize the same resources which we have on this particular os but in virtual machines, if you can see, we have a infrastructure and another layer we have hypervisors. And in, on the hypervisor, basically, we are creating multiple virtual machines and we are uh, basically uh, creating separate OS, like it could be Windows, Linux. So each VM will have a different OS or similar OS. And then we are running our applications on that particular OS. So if you see, to uh, basically, so basically we are in the virtual machines things basically we are going to unutilize lot of resources here like for this virtual machines will be needed 8 gb ram and we have installed applications and it's running but unfortunately our application is go it's not going to utilize the entire ram or entire cpus then basically we are uh, wasting our resources but in containers we can specify okay this particular app near 1 gb this this uh, like one core cpus so we can define those thing in containers and to uh, set up container it's uh, quite easy in compared to a uh, virtual machines so containers are an abstraction at the app layer that package code and dependencies together and in virtual machines are abstraction of physical hardware turning one server into many servers the hypervisors allow multiple vm to run on single machines so basically, uh, in current modern ID words, now we are using containers. A lot of companies are still using uh, this virtual machine com concepts, but uh, nowadays containerization is more popular. Now we will see what is Azure Container Instances. So Azure Container Instance is a service that enables a developer to deploy a container on the Microsoft Azure public cloud without having to provision or manage any underlying infrastructure. So basically, if we are going to use Azure container instances, we don't need to think about any infrastructure, any servers. We just need to create a service and we have to use it. 
अजोर कंटेनर इंस्टेंस इज अ ग्रेट सोल्यूशन फॉर एनी सिनारियोज दैट कैन ऑपरेट इन आइसोलेटेड कंटेनर इंक्लूडिंग सिंपल एप्लीकेशन टास्क ऑटोमेशन एंड बिल्ड जॉब्स एंड अजोर कंटेनर सपोर्ट विंडोज एंड लिनिक्स बोथ टाइप ऑफ कंटेनर एंड इट हैज एबिलिटी टू प्रोवाइड एक्सेस टू कंटेनर्स ओवर इंटरनेट यूजिंग अ फुल्ली क्वालिफाइड डोमेन नेम एंड आई पी एड्रेस सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू एक्सेस एक्सटर्नली दिस पर्टिकुलर एप्लीकेशन और कंटेनर यू कैन यूज पब्लिक आई पी एड्रेस ऑल्सो now this is a very important concept of container groups here so container group is a collection of containers that get scheduled on the same host machines the container in a container group share a life cycle resources local network and storage volumes it's a similar in concept of pod in the kubernetes so if you have to deploy container groups you have to use a resource manager template or ml file so basically what is happening here if you see we have a common dns name here and with the same dns name we have two applications deployed like two containers basically one container is running on port 80 and another container is running on port number 5000 so we are here we have a files and we are we are basically storing our uh, log files and if you can see this is particular running on same host machines so to deploy multiple containers on a same host machine you have to use resource manager template or ml file this could be a great example if suppose we are running one of the uh, web applications and we want to store the logs or we want to share the data on the same host machine then we can use container groups there are many scenarios which you can use uh, container groups but for that you have to use resource manager template or ml file suppose if you are going to use azure file share as a storage system then i will recommend use resource manager templates because it will easy to conf is it will easy basically to create a uh, azure resources because it provide the ability if you use ml file there are a lot of things you have to uh, understand before creating a ml file for this azure file share and all so if you have isolated application you can use ml file if you have Uh, if you have to use azure resources then i will i recommend to use resource manager template only there are few important points about aci so the maximum size of deployable container image on azure container instance is 15 gb as of now and the aci service does reserve the following ports so these are the ports number is reserved by microsoft azure so you have to avoid using these particular ports for your containers container group duration is calculated from the time that we start to pull your first container image for a new deployment or your container group is restarted if already deployed until the container group is stopped so at the time of starting and the, till the time of stopping the microsoft charge based on the duration Uh, how much you are going to use accordingly you have to pay so let's see the demo how to create a azure container instance and we will try to deploy one of the simple application on the ac azure container instances so i am in my azure portal so here what we are going to do we are going to create a container instance and we will pull the image from the container registries and we will deploy one of the sample applications so i have i am already having one container registries which is demo 76453 and under this repositories sorry registry i have a two images so i am going to use aci hello world image so let's start the container instance okay so i'll choose my resource group which is test one and container name i'll give demo reason i'll choose east us because my resource group is also in same reason availability zone i don't require any availability zone so in image source so here i will choose azure container registries so here i will choose my registry demo 76453 and under this registries we have a two images aci hello world and hello world so i'll choose aci hello world image and you can see it's automatically taken the tag so we have only one tag b1 so it's already taking and it's identified the os type is linux size you can 
uh, change as per your requirement i am going with default one next we have networking so i want to access this particular application from the over the internet so i'll provide here uh, dns name here so i'll give sample and it should be unique in the azure region port 80 i will enable because my application is going to run on port 80 so restart policies there are three policies basically on failure always and never so i'm going with default on failure and environment variable if you have an environment variable you can specify here so i don't have any environment variable it's just a sim simple applications so i'll hit on text and i'll review and create so it's checking all the configuration first once validation will be succeed we will hit on create one so our validation is passed now we'll create the container instance so it is going to take at least two to three minutes to create a container instance so my deployment is completed we'll go to resources and you can see the container is already started so if i go to containers and if i'll see the events so it's started pulled and pulling the image if, if you have to check the log of this particular container you can go here so it's seen listening on port 80 so now what i will do i'll copy this particular url and will try to browse the applications So it is going to take some time. So if I go back and check the logs. So we'll wait for at least two minutes. So we can see the sample BABAP simple page basically i have deployed it welcome to azure container instance so it means our container is running so if i go back to my browser so if i check here container status is running and the events you can check here and logs you can check it here so you can see it's already requested http slash 1.10 protocol so it means our container instance is running so that's how basically uh, we create Azure container instances. So thank you so much. See you in next video.